It's that time of year when we come together with friends, with family, and we, we celebrate the things that we're thankful for. It almost seems ironic in a year like 2020 to celebrate the good things. I mean, honestly, it's been such an incredibly crazy year that has slowly unraveled before our very eyes. And to come together and celebrate the good? It seems disconnected from reality. But yet the Bible tells us that we need to give thanks in all circumstances. All circumstances has to include 2020. And so how in the world are we supposed to be thankful in a year like this? Much less, how are we supposed to teach our children to be thankful in a year like this? In this video, we're going to talk about that very thing. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Ben Martin, and if this is your first time tuning into this channel, I invite you to subscribe. This is a channel where we are working to build community around discipling our children to be followers of Jesus Christ. It is not an easy task, and as parents, we've got to work together to do, pull this off. So, welcome. And in this video, we're going to talk about giving thanks in all circumstances. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's easy to teach your kids like, okay, when you get the things you want, you've got to say thank you. It's easy to teach them when things are going right, when everything's great and grand, we're thankful. That's easy. It makes sense. But it doesn't always make sense to give thanks when things aren't going right, when we don't get the things we want, when nothing is going as planned. How do we give thanks in a year like this? I'm going to talk about three ways we can give thanks. So stick around to the end of the video because you're going to want to hear all three of them. Now, all three of them, honestly, are a little bit of a redirect. If we're not thankful for where we're at, then it's obvious. We need to shift our focus. We need to stop looking at our own problems, our own life, and instead shift our focus onto where things are the way they're supposed to be. First of all, nature. No matter what is going on in your life, God has surrounded us by the beauty of nature. Whether it be the glorious colors of sunset or the gentle blooming of a flower, God has created incredible beauty in this world around us. It doesn't matter what season, whether it be the beautiful blanket of snow that I'm hoping comes soon or the lush flowers of spring or the incredible greenery of summer or the absolutely magnificent colors of fall. God has given us incredible nature to look at. And so no matter what is going on in your life, the darker it gets, I invite you, take a step outside, go for a walk, enjoy God's creation because there is always something to be thankful for right outside your door. The second thing is healthy relationships. Who are those people who are with you in the highs and the lows? Who are those people who in your darkest hour as you're walking through that valley are walking there beside you sharing that burden? I know you've got them in your life. We all do. We have people who show up when we need them most. Be thankful for those people. Because no matter what is going wrong in your life, God is sending someone to journey with you. Be thankful for those people. And the third thing is, be thankful that we serve a God who sits on His throne. I know it, it seems a little bit ironic to talk about God sitting on His throne in a year like this. Because God, if you sit on your throne, if you're really in control, then why in the world has this pandemic not stopped? God, if you sit on your throne, why did you allow that drunk driver to cross the line? God, if you sit on your throne, then why haven't we found a cure for cancer? 
It's difficult sometimes to see exactly how God is sitting on his throne. It is. But here's the beautiful thing. And God is in this for the long trip. From creation to the cross to the second coming, he has a plan. And he has the ability to turn what is meant for evil into beauty. We saw that in Joseph's life, and God longs to bring it to fruition in your life too. And so no matter how dark the hour, we can know that that glorious day is coming when somehow all of these wrongs will be made right. This is what gives us the ability to be thankful in all circumstances. I don't know what your year has been like, but I know, I know that none of us have made it through unscathed in a year like this. But no matter what is going on in your life, I challenge you, let's celebrate Thanksgiving together. Let's be thankful in all things. Let's be thankful in all circumstances. Happy Thanksgiving.